and it's made us the fastest growing esports team organization on the planet. And and uh, I, I think we're really posed for for uh, growth uh, from on the revenue side in in 2022. So uh, you know the investment is, is necessary, and uh, and I, I know we're going to see the payback from it. As we talk about growth, there's a lot of competing themes out there, and the Microsoft deal for. Activision Blizzard was a, a stunning one and talks about the content digitally and where the growth story can be. In contrast to that, uh, in recent months, we've been digesting news around China, the pushback against screen time for young people, which would be a fairly negative one, you'd have to say, for sentiment around the industry. Just talk us through how this is impacting your business and perceptions around the growth story. Yeah, you know, the esports the e industry is has been growing uh, by double digits year over year for several years. And, and uh, you know, all signs point to continued growth, uh, you know, with with uh, platforms like Twitch and YouTube, um, it, it's esports it's e is, is more accessible um, than ever before. And and uh, TV networks are, are, are taking notice of this and and. Uh, uh, um, they're they're also regularly broadcasting esports in an effort to attract that difficult to, to reach Gen Z esports audience. You know, I think uh, I think some of the mergers and acquisitions you're seeing are are a reflection of um, um, you know the confidence in the growth of, of the of the sector. And uh, and of course, you know, the different governments are going to have uh, uh, different policies, but uh, but the esports sector in general is is growing by double digits year over year. Um, Cal, can I just pick up on the mental health side of it as well? The, the, the best e-sports players in the world um, and addiction, there's, there's a very fine line between the two because actually the best players in the world train for hours and hours, many of them spending 10, 15 hours a day in front of their screens. Psychosis and all kinds of mental health problems is a real danger. How are you addressing that? Yeah, you know, with our Guild Academy, we, we actually have, uh, you know, a, a big section of it is, is teaching these kids how to, how to live a balanced life. And, and uh, you know, we've got, we've got modules and, and, uh, and uh, sections on nutrition and sleep habits, um, physical fitness and, and uh, you know, getting, getting outside in addition to, you know, practicing what you're passionate about uh, if, if it's a particular uh, game title. Um, we, we, uh, we've got the data to support that, that you know, uh, living a balanced life and, and focusing on, on other areas um, does uh, give results in terms of gameplay. And, and uh, you know, that, that is uh, partnering with David Beckham is, is, uh, is really key and important to us because uh, um, he, he's, he's really, uh, he really resonates with, with the parents of a lot of these, these kids. And, and uh, you know, if, if David puts his stamp on it, uh, um, you know, I, I'm real confident that uh, a lot of parents will see uh, the benefit in the Guild Academy and that balanced approach. Okay.